Okay, what we're going to do today is uh, demonstrate a Windows 8 release preview. Uh, this is the most recent Windows 8 out on an Inspiron 6000. And I'm going to show you the startup. It's actually pretty quick. This, is, this has a uh, Celeron 1.5 gigahertz uh, Celeron M processor. So that's not too bad. That's straight from a cold boot. And it's only got a gig of memory in it. So pretty impressive. Uh, so I only had one major issue. I don't know if it's major because uh, it seems to be working fine. Had one issue. Let's get the task manager going. And the device manager. Let's look at performance. Yeah, you guys can see that. Looks good. Uh, so as you can see right here, the video controller, which was or is an Intel 915 GM uh, graphics video controller, um, didn't have a, uh, a driver that I could find for this graphics card. But the Microsoft driver that was installed seems to be doing the trick. Uh, arrows enabled, and so I can do the arrow peak. You can see the transparency here. Um, it seems to be doing the arrow effects. So, uh, and for those of you who, have, who haven't seen Windows 8 as of yet, here's the tiles. I've installed um, Office 2010, and take a look at some of the apps here. Now again, this is on a Celeron 1.5 gigahertz processor with a megabyte of cache. So if you have one of these laying around, you can play with this as well. It does work. The apps are a little on the slower side, but they do come up. and hitting the um, Windows key will take you out. Uh, let's see if it'll do the weather here. Some of the apps haven't had all of the, um, or some of the releases haven't had all of the... Yeah, you guys can know where I'm located. Um, didn't have all the apps working. Mm, but doesn't look like it knows where I'm located, but in London, this is what the app looks like, and somehow you can get it to move over. There we go. So a pretty cool weather app. Probably a little more than you really need, but. And uh, it's doing pretty good with the CPU. It's definitely maxing out at some point, so wouldn't be the best machine to have Windows on. But it's only uh, compatible with Windows XP, so the fact that it's working with this is pretty great. Memory is running about half mass, and CPU is at idle is about five, six, seven. Let's go to yeah, I'm not too fond of their new setup there, but that's alright. Let's go to YouTube. See, do I have connection? Yeah. Address bar. Windows cannot find YouTube. Check the spelling. Maybe I'm not connected. YouTube. Okay. No, maybe I just can't spell. Hmm. 
Microsoft Surface Keynote. Let's take a look at that. So this is video on an Inspiron 1.5 with Windows 8. So it looks like the audio is not syncing. Let's go with a smaller. Better. Let's pause it. Open full screen. Maybe it's a Ethernet issue. Let's see. Now I'm going to guess that it is the processor. Processor is running at 100%. So, there's a very good chance that it's the processor, but it could also be the video uh, driver, since it's not an exact match. Um, but I think it's the processor, to be honest. Memory is a little bit tight as well. If I had more memory, I'd throw it in, but I don't. <laughs> so, um, full screen video, not so much. Just watching standard video seems to be okay. And that's about it. That's probably all you need to know. If you uh, find that there is a video, a better video driver match, go ahead and post it in the comments. And um, let me know how your Inspiron 6000 uh, install goes with Windows 8. Alright, take care.